7. It's something uh, the likes of which uh, nobody has seen before in terms of all of the attributes of a fighter jet. There's never been anything even close to it from. And the F-47, with the first of these two demonstrators taking flight in 2019. Now Boeing has begun a production of the first F-47 sixth-generation stealth fighter for the U.S. Air Force. Uh, this aircraft serves as a crude element of the broader next generation air dominance uh, initiative. From the silent calm of early morning flight lines, tense air above future conflict zones, the US Air Force has pursued a decisive edge in air superiority. Today, that pursuit reaches a pivotal moment. The Pentagon's fiscal year 2026 budget signals a major commitment to the F-47, a sixth generation stealth jet intended to succeed the renowned F-22 Raptor. What sets the F-47 apart is not just its lineage, but its advanced integration of stealth and agility. More than a successor, the F-47 embodies a unique blend of fighter maneuverability and stealth capabilities reminiscent of strategic bombers. Far from being a simple evolution, it is designed from inception to thrive in an era dominated by artificial intelligence and networked operations. Much surrounding the F-47's systems has been closely guarded, but recently Recent budget releases have shed light on upgrades such as extended range, advanced stealth, and a planned increase in airframe numbers. New information underscores a focus on modular weapon systems, improved electronic warfare, and the ability to coordinate uncrewed wingmen, pushing the F-47 well beyond traditional fighter roles. This presentation will examine the F-47's projected features and role in future air strategy, breaking down its anticipated strengths from advancements in low observability and propulsion to its command of drone collaborators. Attention will also turn to how these capabilities are intended to influence both doctrine and practical air power in coming decades. As other nations accelerate their own sixth-generation projects, the F-47 stands at the forefront of a new competition in air power. A contest measured not simply in technical specifications, but in adaptability, resilience, and operational reach. Stealth reimagined, all aspect low observability. Stealth has long been central to the evolution of American fighter design, rooted in managing radar signatures and shaping the never-ending duel between visibility and evasion. Earlier generations, like the F-22 and F-35, prioritized defeating specific radar frequencies from head-on angles. Flying unnoticed largely depended on presenting a minimal profile toward enemy sensors. The F-47 aims to expand the realm of what is possible in stealth design. Rather than focusing on front-on invisibility, the F-47 is expected to incorporate broadband low observability. This means its radar signature is reduced not just from select perspectives or in particular radar bands, but across a wider spectrum and from virtually all directions. Such comprehensive stealth demands advances in materials as much as in design. The F-47's airframe likely integrates advanced composites and next-gen coatings intended to absorb and scatter radar signals at a range of frequencies. This layered approach could mitigate vulnerabilities to both long-wavelength detection and short-wavelength targeting radars, improving its chances to operate undetected deep inside adversary airspace. This commitment to all aspect stealth represents a significant step forward, potentially allowing the F-47 to survive against increasingly complex and multi-layered surveillance networks. While stealth technology is always in a race with new detection methods, the F-47's broad-spectrum low observability provides a foundation for future upgrades as threat technology evolves. This emphasis on comprehensive stealth is intended not merely as a defensive measure, but as the enabler for new tactics, enabling the F-47 to operate flexibly against emerging threats and leverage its weapon systems to maximum effect. Modularity and Ordnance adapting to mission demands. A fighter's effectiveness is defined not only by how it moves, but also by what it can deliver in combat. With the F-47, adaptability extends into its armament systems as the design anticipates a greater need to quickly tailor payloads to different mission requirements. Historically, fighters have carried fixed suites of munitions, with upgrades arriving only through significant retrofits. 
Instead, the F-47's weapon bays and storage mechanisms are expected to support a modular approach, allowing quick transitions between air-to-air, -air, air to ground and electronic warfare roles as required. For air dominance tasks, the F-47 could be configured with advanced air-to-air -air missiles designed to counter evolving threats. For deep strikes, it might carry standoff cruise missiles or anti-radiation weapons selected to target enemy air defense networks. This modular system allows the platform to be optimized sortie by sortie, providing commanders with versatile options. Equally significant is the projected integration of electronic warfare payloads. The F-47 is planned to host advanced electronic measures as part of its native suite, supporting the suppression of enemy defenses and contributing to the wider electromagnetic fight, key elements in shaping the battle space. The modularity of both physical stores and software-defined capabilities means future munitions and technologies can be integrated as they are developed. By updating mission systems and electronic countermeasures via software, the F-47 is poised to adapt more rapidly to emerging threats, making it a persistent and relevant, and relevant asset, asset over, time. over time. Balancing agility and stealth, redefining fighter performance. One of the long-standing trade-offs in fighter design has been between stealth and agility. Achieving low observability required changes, internal weapon storage, specialized shaping, and the use of certain materials that sometimes came at the expense of raw maneuverability and aerodynamic efficiency. The F-47 seeks to resolve this tension. It is envisioned as a platform capable of combining the maneuverability of a frontline fighter with the deep penetration survivability of a stealth bomber. This balance is critical, as the next generation of air threats may challenge aircraft at close quarters as well as from long range. The airframe's combination of advanced composites, efficient aerodynamics, and improved propulsion is intended to maximize agility without sacrificing stealth. The F-47's engine technologies promise not only increased thrust for dynamic maneuvering, but also better fuel efficiency and reduced heat signatures, enhancing both survivability and operational reach. By merging these attributes, the F-47 may execute a spectrum of missions, from high-speed engagements with enemy fighters to stealthy, low-observable strikes, without being limited to one operational profile. Agility enhances survivability and enables exploitation of fleeting gaps in enemy defenses. The result is an aircraft expected to operate with flexibility against a wide range of adversary systems. Ally-driven operations coordinating uncrewed wingmen. The future of air combat is increasingly about teams, not individual aircraft. In this context, a hallmark of the F-47 program is its capacity to command and cooperate with collaborative combat aircraft. Advanced drones operating with a degree of autonomy under human or semi-autonomous control. These AI-enabled wingmen are designed to augment the manned fighter's effectiveness. Equipped for surveillance, electronic warfare, or strike missions, these drones can scout ahead, act as decoys, or provide additional firepower. Networked to the F-47, they form a flexible and adaptive force, enabling new tactical approaches while spreading operational risk. This capability is vital for operations in contested environments. By assigning high-risk or repetitive tasks to uncrewed companions, the F-47 extends its reach and influence throughout the battle space. The aircraft's role expands from direct combat to command and coordination increasing its impact even while preserving its own survivability. This distributed fighting model requires robust communications and secure data links, as well as advanced mission systems. These are being emphasized in the F-47's planned architecture, supporting dynamic coordination between air crews and autonomous assets. The ability to deploy and manage multiple drones, each optimized for specific missions, introduces an unprecedented level of flexibility to future air campaigns. The reach and influence of the F-47, therefore, comes not only from its own abilities, but from its role as a central node in an expanding web of networked platforms. Extended range and endurance, strategic and tactical implications, Range and endurance are fundamental to the F-47's anticipated advantage. Whereas earlier, US fighters were optimized for short-range conflicts, often relying on forward basing, the F-47 is being designed for operations across great distances, 
reflecting the expanding geography of strategic competition. Plans for the F-47 call for significant improvements over previous platforms, achieved through a combination of lighter, stronger materials, reduced drag profiles, and more efficient propulsion systems. Advanced engines will allow sustained high-speed flight and economic cruising, extending operational envelopes without frequent refueling. This increase in unrefueled range provides American forces with greater flexibility in selecting basing options and attack vectors, potentially allowing the F-47 to operate from positions less vulnerable to enemy missile threats. In maritime scenarios or dispersed operations, persistent reach means jets can support naval and ground components from safer standoff distances. Extended endurance dovetails with the F-47's integration of drone wingmen. By remaining on station for longer periods, the fighter increases its ability to supervise collaborative assets, conduct prolonged surveillance, or respond dynamically to emerging threats. The result is a force that can outlast, outmaneuver, and outpace adversaries' over-sustained campaigns. Scaling air power, procurement, maintenance, and force structure. One of the most decisive factors in the F-47's development is the intent to avoid the bottlenecks that constrained earlier programs. The F-22, for instance, was manufactured in small numbers, limiting its strategic impact. The F-47 program is being shaped by a clear mandate for greater scale and efficiency, with the objective of delivering sufficient numbers to influence regional and global balances. Design choices for the F-47 emphasize modular construction, digital design, processes and systems intended for easier maintenance and rapid turnaround. Predictive diagnostics and common modules are expected to streamline support and reduce downtime, making fleet management more sustainable than legacy stealth fighters. Operating at scale supports a range of strategic effects. With more airframes available, the Air Force can surge its presence when required, cover multiple theaters simultaneously, or quickly replace losses in high-intensity conflicts. In practical terms, sufficient numbers ensure the persistence and redundancy needed to maintain air superiority. This scalable approach also underpins cost efficiency. By designing for affordability in both acquisition and life cycle management, the F-47 program seeks to balance cutting-edge capability with the practical needs of budget and resources, delivering a fighter that can be purchased and operated in numbers adequate to meet future challenges. Electronic Warfare – Expanding Control of the Spectrum Modern combat is increasingly defined by control of the electromagnetic spectrum. The F-47 is intended to build on this reality, featuring a sophisticated electronic warfare suite designed for both protection and offensive disruption. Electronic attack capabilities will enable the F-47 to degrade or deny enemy sensors, communications, and weapon guidance systems. Embedded sensors and jammers, integrated into the airframe and connected to software-defined architectures, allow for rapid adaptation to changing electronic threats. This enables the F-47 to act as both a shield, defending itself and accompanying forces, and as an enabler for larger strike operations by blinding or disrupting adversary networks. Modular system designs mean upgrades and new techniques can be fielded quickly as the Spectrum fight evolves. By integrating these systems as core capabilities, the F-47 extends its relevance in an environment where electronic attack and defense can be as important as missiles and guns. In effect, the aircraft serves as both a fighter and a node in a broader campaign for electromagnetic dominance. Doctrinal Integration – The Role of the F-47 in U.S. Air Strategy The F-47 is not merely a new airplane, but a focus for updated doctrine. The blend of deep penetration stealth greater range, networked drone coordination, and scalable deployment options reflects a shift in how the U.S. Air Force approaches future warfare. Central to emerging doctrine is the concept of distributed adaptive operations. The F-47 is planned to operate as part of fluid, dispersed formations, executing strikes, and controlling collaborative assets across denied and contested environments. Its flexibility supports rapid changes in mission profile, allowing forces to adapt in real time as new information and threats emerge. This fits within a larger, multi-domain framework, integrating with intelligence, joint force, and allied assets. 
the ability to adjust quickly, whether adding electronic attack effects, shifting between air-to-air -air and air-to-ground roles, or managing autonomous formations, amplifies the adaptability of American air power. The presence of sufficient numbers of F-47s, each equipped and organized for their specific missions, also addresses the need for persistence in air campaigns. When adversaries invest heavily in anti-access strategies, the ability to present multiple simultaneous threats, each potentially unpredictable, adds complexity and risk for any opponent. Conclusion? The future of air power in transition. As fiscal year 2026 approaches, the F-47 stands as a centerpiece in America's next generation of air power. Its features, broadband stealth, modular weapon systems, improved agility, longer range, collaborative drone integration, and electronic warfare capability, reflect a comprehensive approach to maintaining and expanding air superiority. For rival states, the F-47's projected capabilities demand a re-evaluation of defensive postures and technological investments. The calculus of air defense is increasingly about adaptability, resilience, and the ability to respond to coordinated, networked threats, qualities the F-47 is designed to amplify. For strategists and pilots, the F-47 signals a shift not only in technology, but in the very doctrine of American air operations. The contest for aerial dominance is less about any single platform and more about leveraging a flexible mix of manned and uncrewed systems backed by scalable force structure and dynamic doctrine. The F-47's unveiling marks a significant transition in U.S. air power. As the boundaries of range, stealth, and adaptability continue to move outward, new possibilities and new challenges will shape the future of conflict in the skies. It is in responding to these demands that the F-47 is expected to demonstrate its true value, not just as a replacement for the F-22, but as the spearhead of a new era of American air dominance.